Hello and welcome back to Christopher Butcher and Friends. Right, a few months ago, do you remember this? Yep, I'm still here. I think you get the gist. Yeah, it's time for... Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review! Right, you see that there? Is it focusing all right? I can't tell. Right, we've got, look at that. That is one really, really bad close-up of my fucking ugly face, isn't it? Hey, I have to look at this fucking thing every morning in the mirror, I'll tell you. Yeah, I've already done the breakfast, it's a steak pie, but I've got classic fish and chips with mushy peas. Ooh! Let's see how dog shit this is going to be. Also, when I went to Stewart's, you remember, he had these, this, his beer in a pint pot, didn't he? Now, it looked fabulous. Look at that dog shit. Now, I've scrubbed my glass, right? Hot water, soap, and I, mean, I don't mean any old soap, I mean fairy platinum, right? Supposed to remove all grease and grime. Then I rinsed it, then I rinsed it in cold water, ice cold water, and then I poured my ice cold beer in it, and look at it. Looks like a fucking piss sample. So, what am I doing wrong? Am I pouring it wrong? I don't know. Shall I, shall I pour one for our viewing pleasure later? And so I shall just piss in their glass because you won't be able to tell any fucking different. Well, it's not like me to get off track, is it? I could start talking about something completely different that I started talking about in the first place. Right, we're on. Kershaw Frozen Foods Classic Fish and Chips with Mushy Peas, right? Now... This is exact same price as what the uh, big breakfast was, which is £1.69. Now, the exchange rate might be different, so uh, I'll look it up, and here it is. American dollars, Canadian dollars, US dollars, and down in this corner, the fucking shit euro. Right, so what are we going to do with this? Right, obviously, it's, it says for best results, oven cook from frozen. Now, I'm not going to cook it in the oven, because that's defeating the object of this review. This review is to keep you fucking alive. <laughs> ah, two on a Sunday fucking morning, when you're fucking bladdered and munted. Uh, but you can microwave it, so that's what we're going to do. Oven, right, oven, it takes 35 fucking minutes. The microwave, it takes 13 minutes, so... Oh, fucking no brainer, innit? What else? Uh, we recommend that you cook from frozen only. All frozen products like this always say that, don't they? So, uh, oh hey, hey, look at this. I like that slogan there. What does it say? We make a meal out of it, so you don't have to. Anyone who's watched my videos, I make a fucking meal out of anything. And I don't mean, I don't mean food meal, I mean I just make fucking hard work out of it. I could boil an egg for three minute video, right? Three minutes, perfect boiled egg. It, the video will be 25 minutes fucking long. Like this one's going to be again. How the fuck I have storage for this shit, I don't know. Right, where the fuck am I up to? Right, uh, let's regroup, one second. I'll drink a bit of fucking arse piss down here and I'll be back to you. Showed a fucking pube in that. <coughs> right, so we're gonna jump straight in with the ingredients, right? First of all, chips, 46%. Uh, potatoes, non hydrogenated sunflower oil. Oh god, mushy peas, 29%. I've, I'm, missing, I'm missing some here, I'm sure. I, t I say every fucking review I do, I need to do my homework so I don't look a cunt. Uh, but then again, that's that's what I'm here for, isn't it? I'm here to look a cunt, be a cunt, and act a twat. It can work both ways. Right, I forgot. Oh, mushy peas, 29%. I've got, got deja vu here. Rehydrated processed peas, 95%. Water, sugar, salt, colours, E101, E133. Google it. And uh, you'll probably get the fucking 
buzz timetable in fucking uh, Krotzka for some fish in batter. Twenty five percent. Twenty five percent of a fish. Oh, white fish. Apparently, fish is a fucking allergy. Fifty percent. Batter, water, wait. Flour, wait. Flour, ca calcium, carbonate, iron, niacin, thiamine, maize flour, wait. Starch, salt, not hydrogenated palm oil, wait. Gluten, raisin agents, diacetum, di diphosphate, uh, sodium carbonate, natural flavouring, dextrose. Fucking government. Told you. It's in everything. It's in fucking everything. And if you think you're eating organic, they're coming round at middle at night spraying your fucking twatting potatoes in your garden with dextrose. Uh, I'll get my tinfoil hat on next. Uh, Stabiliser! Like, uh, not the ones like on uh, Connor's bike. Xanthan gum again! Do you know what? Since I started doing this, these reviews, I didn't actually realise how many of the same chemicals and shit that you don't understand are in everything that you fucking eat. Non-hydrogenated rapeseed oil. Right, well that's the uh, ingredients done on that one. Uh, the food fat. This product may contain traces of nuts and seeds. Ugh, although every effort has been taken to remove all bones, some may remain. It's fish. Do you know, you know what? I went to Blackpool Zoo once, right? No word of a lie. I'm talking fucking about 15 years ago. And uh, went in the chippy at Blackpool Zoo. It were chippy, let's get it fucking right. It was a fucking canteen, right? And they did fish and chips. And it said, the fish may contain some bone. I thought, well, I will, I'll give it a chance. I love fish, I just don't like the bone. So I got this, fuck, the chips were fucking fabulous, proper uh, potato chips, uh, mushy peas. This, but this fish, right? I'm not kidding you. I, it was a fucking fish carcass, battered. It was just fucking, it said make and save some bone. It was just fucking battered bones. It was fucking tragic. Uh, right, what am I on about? I'm talking about a fucking day trip to Blackpool Zoo. I had fucking... A eon ago. Right, uh Should we get this out of this packet and cut the fucker? Because otherwise, uh you haven't got all day to watch this fucking video, have you? And I certainly ain't got all day to fucking edit it. Right, let's get this out of this packet. Fucking magic. Right, this is where it gets stupid, right? Back away from frozen, remove the meal from the carton, which we magically did. Carefully cut away and remove the film from the fish and the chip compartment. Be nice, folks. They said careful, I just ripped the cunt out. Right, you can't get it better than that, can you? Right, done, done. Uh, Pierce the film in the mushy peas compartment. Done. Place in microwave and heat as per instructions below. Right, let's get this motherfucker in microwave. Right, we're gonna cut this on full power now for five minutes. Boosh! Fucking magic. Right, so that's been on for five minutes. And now it says I have to peel back this on the mushy peas, right? Yeah, which I've, I've managed to do successfully. Stir it. Still quite a bit frozen, that. Give it a bit of a stir. Fucking okay, mushy peas. Fuck me. The fuck all there. But then again, what do you want for 169? Right. <sighs> Bollocks. Right. Recover and bang it back in microwave for another. Listen to this 
five and a half minutes. <laughs> Fucking magic. We're back down here again. Hey, 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 I tell you what, that's a lot hotter. Right, it said otter. I said hotter, not otter. Hey, Hannah, right? I said hotter, not otter. That girl, honestly, that's my boss's daughter, right? And seriously, she thinks having an otter as a pet is fucking viable. Right. It says now, stir me mushy peas. Like so. There we go. And we've got a... An hot sock. Twat. Right, we've got to leave that stand now for a minute. Right, we've got to let that stand now for a minute. But by the time I finish waffling, it'll be about fucking ten. But hey, it don't matter, does it? Eh? Them mushy peas are like molten lava. They need about a fucking hour. Cool down. Mm. Cheers to all my family. Thank you. Right. Two shout outs. First one. She's had, she's had a couple now. Brenda Rigdon. She uh, put a comment on the uh, last one, one before video. I, I can't remember. But she clocked in one of my shots a Golden Fields thing. And she thought she wondered what it was. Right, I'm going to show you. It is. It's Golden Fields Pure Rapeseed Oil. Now, this was cheap. It will. It, I think it was one ninety nine for what we're talking a liter, right? Now anyone in this game cooking or like that, one ninety nine for a liter rapeseed oil is cheap, and there's a reason why that is cheap because it's shit. Right? So I tried using it, and uh, I went. I went in religion, and I thought fuck it. So I bought that. I went back to me border fields, British rapeseed oil cold pressed. Now that is the fucking shit. That is absolutely f Unfortunately, for half that, it's £3.50 for 500 mils. But it's fucking worth it. That is proper, proper fucking rapeseed oil. Uh, like I say, if you get it in America, it's canola oil, isn't it? So, right. Uh, where are we up to? Shout outs. I said two, that's in three, because there's two Steves. Steve Kittler, Steve Knight. Kittler. Knight. Right? So, uh, I want to thank you two brothers for, uh, really, did not ask for a shout out, I'm just giving you one anyway, lads. Uh, all the nice comments, you, you know, always nice things to say. Listen, you can call me a cunt, you know. <laughs> a lot of people do, and I don't mind. Uh, because if I, you call me a cunt, I'll call you a cunt. So uh, let's get some fucking banter going on this uh, on this channel, shall we? I know I say it's Crystal Butcher and Friends and we're all a family, but it's not, you know, it is definitely after the watershed sort of family, isn't it? It's like sitting down with your, with your kids watching Ollie Hawks and you're like, oh, thinking, when does Ollie Hawks have to die on? Fucking hell, can't wait for that shit. But yeah, right, anyway, this fucking shit has been down here for about fucking 25 minutes. So uh, I think we should jump down there and give it a taste test. Right, here we go. Now normally, with fish and chips, mushy peas, I'd put salt and vinegar on it, but they didn't supply it, so I'm not gonna taste test it with it on. But you can add it afterwards if you want, because I think I'm pretty fucking certain it'll fucking need it. Right, let's try a bit of this fish. Now you've gotta be so careful. Yeah, cunt. <laughs> That's got a chip on it. Let's get a chip on there as well. Mmm. Mushy peas. They're fucking fabulous. They're fabulous. I'm surprised. Them just taste like mushy peas from Chippy. The fish and chips fucking don't, but the mushy peas do. Now, now your fish, obviously. You know, if you go in the freezer shop or a supermarket or anything like that, and you get the, you know, the cod fillets or the fish fillets, 
and it's like four or three quid. That's what them are. It's, pro it's probably reformed fucking fish. So, shall out with some of that mushy peas. Can't get over them mushy peas. Seriously, mushy peas are fucking out of this world. Do you know it's worth one sixty nine just for fucking mushy peas? And let's see how many times I said mushy peas in this video. Jet. Dips in them mushy peas. Tell you what, it's not too bad this, after all. There you go. You can't see that on camera. But I found a fucking bone. And it said may contain bone. So on that note, I'm leaving it fucking there. But with no bones, it must be, so I might, I might just eat them fuckers. Well, brothers and sisters, that was my classic fish and chips with mushy peas by Kershaw Foods. And I tell you what, I found that little bit of bone in the end. Other than that, that was, for 169 was fucking great. You know, it took about 13 and a half minutes in the microwave. Take 35 in the oven, but we don't want you cooking in the oven when you've had a good few scoops, you know what I mean? So, uh, definitely get that. I would, I would eat that. The mushy peas were fucking out of this fucking world. Bit of salt, and salt and pepper on for start again, shall we? Bit of salt and vinegar on fucking chips, and it'd be even better. Just one minute. Dog barking outside, come in. So I'm just going to punch it up the arse, and we'll carry on. The dog's in. Now I was only joking about punching it up the arse, right? Because it's about a million fucking year old. And uh, it's going to drop dead any fucking day, I'm sure of it. Right? <laughs> I'm sure, this dog, this dog I've got, I'll tell you what, it, 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 it fucking blitz. I'll tell you, that fucking old. But yeah, 169 for that Kershaw Foods. Uh, classic fish and chips, must mushy peas, fucking. Mm. Fucking, I'll tell you what, them are the, they taste just like chippy mushy peas. In fact, better because they were so mushy and creamy back here now. And that, but really, that, that the other stuff were all right. I'd probably in that fish, I'd probably eat a bit of bone and not. They were that fine. I'd probably not even notice. So it's only because I was looking for it. You couldn't even see it on the camera when I held it up like that. It was like a fucking fine pube, you know. It probably wasn't pube to be honest. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Hey. Anyway. If you like that episode, press like, comment, share. Speaking of sharing, right? We've, I've been through this all before. Facebook is a fantastic platform for sharing vi uh, YouTube videos. Now, I want everybody that watches these regularly, apart from Dan Bobs, who's too fucking shit. Oh, he's not Dan Bobs anymore. Sorry, Dan Utz, who's too fucking frightened to have Facebook. I did it too. Oh, I don't argue with a girlfriend they had to go. Right? <laughs> probably, I made that up. Probably not the reason. But that's what it sounds like. And, uh I've lost what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. That's it. Last year, I set, me, I set a goal for our channel, right? Of 200 subscribers by the, uh, by the end of 2016. Begin of 2017. And I hit it. I hit it with about two weeks to spare. And I, th I said, I, I boldly came out and went, I want a goal. I want 500 subscribers by the end of 2017. Right, it's now the, uh, I think it's the 6th of, Ju 6th of July. And we've got 452. And that is fucking phenomenal. I didn't real. I didn't think I'd get that many so quick in the space of a few months. So that's what I'm a little bit sharing. Everyone share. Just, just, just fucking take a look at this prick with a with a hashtag, right? Hashtag warning: Do not watch it round the kids. The easily offended or midgets, right? Oh, and subscribe! I become a member of hashtag Team CTB with me, you, and everybody else, including midgets. I, I'm not. I'm not racist against midgets or anything, by the way. 
Oh, let's just let's just make that clear. Oh, and I fucking love you.